So just a quick office room update. So we got this bed from Ikea. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's the Ikea Hemnes day bed and it pulls out into double, which is great for us for guests staying. It just provides an extra little guest space if anyone else wants to stay over. And then I picked up some cushion covers. These are both from H&M. So there's this like linen one and then this one, which I love and it goes really well with the color of the wall. And then these ones, which I picked up from Zara Home in the sale. And then I've just popped a bedspread on. This was um, from eBay and I just love the scalloped edge. And yeah, it's just really beautiful. Um, and then I picked up this throw actually from Sainsbury's. Um, which was about £18, I think. And yeah, I'm loving it. So I've got these, I've got some prints to put up. And I got these frames from the range. So I've been very kindly gifted some prints from Trove. So I'm going to pop those up along this wall. And here's the finished side of the office room. I am in love with it. And these prints are so beautiful. So again, they are from Trove Prints. I have got a discount code. I'll pop it on the screen. I think it's only available for a limited time. And they are just the most beautiful prints. I've actually um, taken the glass out because I did see on Rachel's YouTube the other day. And I don't know why I've never thought of this because I've always tried taking content and trying to avoid the light from the window glaring into the pictures. But just to take the glass out, I can do it from any angle. And it actually makes the prints pop a little bit more and you can see more of the detail without the glass in. And yeah, it's just a really good tip. So I thought, yeah, why have I never thought of that earlier? And yeah, I am just obsessed. So I think I mentioned this already, but the frames are from the range. And then the these two cushions are from H&M and these are from Zara Home. And then the bedspread was from eBay, the beds of Ikea. Um, this throw I picked up from Sainsbury's, it's £18. I love these like mohair type throws. I just think they're really, really stunning. And then um, these stems are from, oh, where they're from? Country Interiors, I believe. Um, yeah, they're from Country Interiors. That's from Sainsbury's, the vase. And the tray I got a while back from Inspirations Wholesale. It's um, a bit like a Costco for all the home interior stuff. But um, yeah, I act actually love that. It's just so rustic and pretty. And then the little tea light holder is quite recent, actually, from H&M Home. So I think they still have them in stock. So I'll link them down below. But I am just obsessed with the outcome so yeah let me know what you think absolutely love it i also just wanted to share our main bathroom with you because i have changed up a little bit in here um so this room has just kind of been left it just used to have the old stuff in from our old house which was like i hate to say it, but like rose gold pink gray and yes i just I really hated it. <laughs> so I've had some new accessories kindly sent to me. So I thought I would share them with you because I thought they was beautiful. And I've just, yeah, restyled this whole bathroom. And now I like it a little bit more before we actually do some DIY in here because it is in major need of it. But yeah, so I moved this. Um, so you may have seen this in my previous videos. I've moved this. This was from Gist. I've just made it from the living room, now we've got the media unit down there, up to in here. And I just really like it as um as just a towel rail. So I've got I've been sent these beautiful towels. Ignore the screws. <laughs> I had something there before, so we need to touch that up. But I've sent been sent these from the lovely Bath Allure. Um and yeah, I think they're just beautiful. They're in the country house um style and I just obviously think they go super well with my home and then this olive branch was from Neptune and this was also from Jisk um this basket 
And then I've just styled up my sink. I need a few more accessories around here, but I've just used one of my napkins and then um, this tray from B&M. And then I've just put my little Neptune soap on there, just why I did my collab photos. And then the bath mat as well, which I've been sent um, to match the towels. And then I've also got the bath towels from the same range as well, which are super pretty. And I just love anything white. I just think it looks really, really nice and elegant. Anyway, it makes the bathroom look really nice and clean. And then the basket is from Sainsbury's. This comes in like a set of two, I think, for like £22. I'm not sure if they still sell them. And then I've just got this stem here from, I think this was from Country um, Interiors as well. And I need a new like wicker um, toilet roll holder. I put my like my bleach and toilet cleaner and stuff in there. And then my spare toilet rolls. Um, but I want a, one that just matches in a little bit better. So if you've seen like a wicker toilet holder like that, very similar, similar size, then let me know because I am struggling to find one. And then I've very really been kindly sent this beautiful bath board too. This is from the lovely Stag Interiors. And Abby got in touch with me from Stag Interiors and asked if she could send me this. And it was perfect for what I was looking for because I wanted to add some more rustic touches to this bathroom as I was doing it up and it was just perfect timing. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love a bath board. And it just is so beautiful. You can pick um, from like a heart or star. She also adds in um, like an iPad holder if you want that or a wine glass holder um, or a tea light holder as well. So you can have all them added in and they are all handmade to size. So you just send in your measurements of your bathtub and she, they make them to a size which is perfect and I just think they are so so stunning I just love this rustic look and yeah I have a discount code as well but it's better if you um dm them on instagram I'll add their instagram down below so then you can get it made to size because I don't think the bath boards are on the website but they do do beautiful grazing boards as well like absolutely stunning and they will make a lovely gift because you can actually get them like personalised with a little personalised tag on them and they're just so beautiful so definitely go and check out Stag Interiors um, and then I've just styled it with my Neptune candle and this plant which I've had for a while and I can't remember where it's from I think I actually got it from um, Inspirations Wholesale as well um, the same time I got that um, wooden board in the office room. But yeah, I, a lot of places sell these as well. I'm pretty sure you would have seen them. Um, and then I've just, I think this was from Home Bargains a while back. And I've just put some white bath bombs in there. And then my white company wreath. These jars were from Aldi. And then on the windowsill. Um, this was from a small business quite a while ago um, I think it's called Kath and Kin now it's changed name but if I find them I will tag them not sure if they do still do them because it was like a few years ago I've had that and then this was from Asda George I don't think they do them anymore but I just love the like cane effect but it is actually a pot absolutely love the olive tree and then the candles from Jisk, and then I love this spray. This is from Asda, it smells beautiful. White iris and citrus, it's so nice. But yeah, that's the bathroom so far. And I do have a discount code as well for the towels, which I think ends um, in September sometime, but I will pop the discount code on screen and then I will also pop it in the description box below along with the link to the website and where the, ta the the actual towel range as well so yeah that's my new little bathroom update oh and this is from b and um this cupboard but i do want to change this whole bit a little bit that was just a purchase on a little whim just when we moved in but yeah i'm so much happier with how it looks now
so I thought I would do my little bit of filming on the new day bed in the office because isn't this like the new perfect place to film? It's just so beautiful. I think like I'm so happy with how it's turned out and yeah it's just a really nice place to film now and right next to the window so I get a good amount of light and yeah I'm really really happy with it but yeah I thought I would share this with you so this quite big box actually is from can you see it has it um home on the south coast and these are if you don't follow Gemma at home on the south coast over on instagram where have you been what have you been doing because she has the most beautiful um home she's got again she's like modern country style like i am and absolutely love her home it's just so stunning and she started doing these home on the south coast styling boxes and they are like seasonal boxes and the i have seen a i've seen a snippet of what's in them and i can't wait to open it because it's just the most beautiful pieces that she's hand selected and has put together i think it cost me 41 pounds for this box which i think is really reasonable for what's inside and it's just the most beautiful home interior things in there and if it's anything to go by what she has in her home then it's just a win-win and yeah so i can't wait to share that with you i think she's doing a christmas one as well i think this is meant to be the autumnal box i think um but yeah so it's beautifully packaged as well look at this i haven't actually opened this yet um i've just opened up the box but how beautiful is that just the attention to detail is stunning so yeah there's a bit of dried gypsophilia on there and even using that somewhere in the home like in the little bud vase would be cute um so yeah i just love that love the attention to detail it's like a wedding invitation that isn't it it's just so beautiful right let's get into this there's a lot of um them little packing peanuts in here so they might go everywhere but oh wow everything's packaged so beautifully as well it's got like little stickers on there home on south coast styling boxes and look at these they are so beautiful oh wow look at those stems how beautiful are they and they've got the slightest touch of pink in there which would be perfect for autumn and let me just grab this how nice would they look in this pot let me just fold these up oh How nice do they look in there? That is so beautiful. I think I might pop them in this room on the window ledge. I think they would look so pretty in there. Um, and then what else do we have? Again, beautifully wrapped with all the stickers on very well packaged as well with so they don't break Ooh. oh perfect look at that the most beautiful terracotta rustic pot and it's not orangey too it's like a quite nice um it's quite a nice brown light brown shade absolutely love that and they would probably look really nice in there as well if I like fluff them out a little bit. Don't they? How beautiful are they in there too? The pinks as well just look so nice with the colour of the pot. They are stunning. Absolutely love that. And then next up. Oh, it's a jug. Love a jug. Oh, how beautiful is that? It's very vintage style 
absolutely, I love the shape of that and it's quite a cute size as well. You could actually use that in the kitchen for like milk or cream as well. And, but it's stunning. And they've got quite a bit of detail inside as well. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a crackled effect inside. Um, but yeah, that is so pretty. It's stamped as well on the bottom, but I can't, can't quite tell what it says. But yeah, that's just such a pretty jug, very vintagey. Could almost be like you picked it up from the like the charity shop or an antiques fair or something. Absolutely love that. That would look perfect on some shelving. And then, what else have we got in here? Oh wow, this is so stunning. Look at this scalloped plate. How beautiful is that? And it's got such pretty like rib detail as well inside. I just think that is stunning. That would look so pretty on some shelves or just on a coffee table with some things in. It would look beautiful with some like pot puree in or pine cones or something as well. I just think that is so stunning. And oh, it would look really nice with like you could put some like stones in there and put like a candle on top and have it as like a candle plate or just use it as a normal plate <laughs> but yeah it's just so pretty look lovely on a tablescape as well that is stunning absolutely love that and then i think there's one more thing in here I love this, absolutely love this, a lovely little basket, this is such like white company style as well and absolutely love this, it's slightly scalloped as well from the little like handles almost, that would look beautiful in the kitchen, like a, maybe like a fruit bowl or a little bread basket or yeah, that would just look stunning anywhere. Or even on a bed styled with a little vase, candle in there. That's beautiful. Yeah, that you, you could use that anywhere around the house. So it's so versatile. Absolutely love that. I love the colour as well. It's really natural, not orangey. Absolutely love that. It's perfect. So yeah, these are all my little bits that I got then. How beautiful are those? They're just very well picked. Why my little jug? Stunning. How beautiful are they? So I can't wait. I'm definitely gonna get the next one. If that's the Christmas one. Oh yeah, I can't wait to style these up around the house as well. They're just so pretty and rustic and such my style. Absolutely love everything. I love those. So yeah, if you I'll pop the link down below for her website and the styling boxes but also I'll pop her Instagram and just get some inspiration from her home style as well because it's so beautiful absolutely stunning so yeah I did say that I was going to do um a little crafty hack um this week and I didn't do a vlog last week so I I am very aware of that but I have just been so, so busy with my small business recently. I don't know what it is. It must just be baby fever for the end of the year because I've got so much to do. It's unbelievable. So yeah, I don't know whether to start doing my videos on a Wednesday or not. So I've got like over the weekend to film them and then they can be ready for the Wednesday. Um, just so I can be... I have the weekend then to like do the filming and get my orders, my crochet orders done and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm yet to decide on whether that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try my best to stick to some kind of schedule of posting videos, but it's really, really hard when I have my full-time job and then I do my small business and then I do this as well. So this kind of just gets pushed to the side because um, obviously working at people's orders out is more important than me doing a YouTube video but um, yeah so I will do the crafty one as soon as I can I've just not had time to actually um, make it do it film it so 
yeah that will be very soon if hopefully next week's video but i still have quite a lot to get through so we shall see but it'll definitely be coming because i have all the bits to do it i just don't have the time to do it at the minute but yeah hopefully it'll be coming soon so yeah this video has been slightly short but sweet so i hope you've enjoyed maybe this slightly shorter video um and the little office transformation and what we've done with our bathroom and also the styling box that I got from Home on the South Coast. I hope you enjoyed all those things. If you did, please leave a like, a comment um, about what your favourite thing was in this video and what you think of our new office. And yeah, um, yeah, leave a like and a comment. And if you can, please do subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss out on any future videos that are coming soon. So yeah, thank you for watching and I do apologise again for no video for last week but I do try as much as I can to stick to doing them on a regular basis. So if that might be fortnightly or uh, weekly, then we'll just see depending on how busy I am. But hopefully you still enjoy the videos and yeah, I hope to see you again soon.